So here you can see that I already have a two snapshot over here, right? If we clicking over, you can see that. So what is my current storage here? Standard. Standard. Okay. So if you want to access your snapshot frequently, then you have to keep your snapshot word standard only. If you want to reduce your expense, then archive. So then rarely you can access your data snapshot. Okay. So for that, you just click over here, then go to action. Then we have an option here. What is it? Archive snapshot. Just click over here. That's it. Okay. So automatically, so it will change the tire from standard to RK so that you can see if you click on over you can see that storage here and you can see that it is progress okay so once it complete you will be able to find instead of standard tire it will come to RK tire you suppose you get a question how to reduce my snapshot or like expense okay if you keeping multiple snapshot in your account so you'll be get charged right so suppose if you not using that snapshot what you can do you can create a RK tire then you can move all the snapshot to that particular tire okay any doubt? So we have a two tests for uh, snapshot storing. What are standard, standard and R K. So I have a seven classes for e, uh, yes three volume. What are standard, standard, standard IA, IA one zone IA. Uh, okay, glacier flexible retrieval, deep archive, R R S. So these all are seven storage classes. I have a three tires. What are standard? standard St is it st not standard not standard frequent infrequent rk we have a three tires in s3 so we have a two tires in snapshot storage standard rk tire okay ah they pull amka put matter okay so next uh, we'll discuss about snapshot recycle bin so let's consider a uh, snapshot rated on snap snapshot recycle bit. So consider, so accidentally I delete my volume, then what I can do? Eh? Okay, so first question. So why should I create snapshot? What is the purpose of snapshot? First of all, backup. backup. In the sense, if suppose accidentally you delete your snapshot, sorry, volume, then you can take a backup of your volume, then you can create another volume from the snapshot, right? So consider accidentally you delete your snapshot then eh? so at that time actually this recycle bin will come to picture see if we go to snapshot so we have an option over here what is it recycle bin so we have to configure that so I will just uh, show you actually how, how to configure okay and just manage just click on recycle bin So then you can create a retention rule over here. Just click retention rule. You can provide a name, whatever you want. Then resource type, you can select EBS snapshot or Amazon machine image, whichever it is you want. Okay. So here I will select Amazon, uh, sorry, EBS snapshot. Then if you want, you can uh, put any tag over here, tags. Okay. So come down retention period, one day or two day, whatever you want to keep over there. After the retention period, it will automatically delete. Okay. Suppose if you're getting a question. So suppose accidentally I deleted my one snapshot. How to protect snapshot? Recycle pin. If you accidentally delete your volume, so we can protect by using snapshot. Snapshot, if you accidentally delete your snapshot, recycle pin. Okay? Small concepts. Uh, write it down. To protect business critical EBS snapshot, snapshot recycle pin. Same concept in Windows. So when we delete our file, automatically it will go to Recycle bin. After 20 to 30 days, automatically the file will be deleted from our system itself. That's it. Ah, kudka. So, now we can return speed. Or come, but one time we are time. Or come. Idli, idla. Adi na check kiri. Ibrade ibrade da. Ah, maximum 365 days maximum. Okay, that also please make and sure minimum one day and maximum 365 days in the sense. Until uh, one year, you can keep your snapshot. So after one year, it will automatically delete it. Okay. So write it down. A definition. Not a definition. To protect business critical EBS snapshot and Amazon machine image from accidental deletion. So we can protect our EBS snapshot and AMA from accidental delete. So that's what we're using. Recycle pin. Yes. 
ആ ലൈറ്റ് അവിടെയാണ് ആ സ്വിച്ച് നിന്റെ അടുത്താ കാണുന്നുണ്ടാ ഓക്കെ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇ ബി എസ് എൻക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് യു ഗെറ്റിംഗ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹൗ ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മൈ ഇ സി ടു മെഷീൻ വാട്ട് വുഡ് ബി ആൻസർ ഹൗ ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മൈ ഇ സി ടു മെഷീൻ ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഡാറ്റ ആം സ്റ്റോറിംഗ് ഓൺ ഇ സി ടു മെഷീൻ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മൈ ഇ സി ടു മെഷീൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് മൈ ഡാറ്റാസ് security group so that is for only accessing who who all are need to access my ect machine there where i will give my security group but if i want to protect my data auto no auto eh? not auto not snapshot or not encryption so what is encryption ah non readable format okay so we no need to do anything we just Uh, we just need to select encryption that's i'll show you that see if you go to your what is snapshot page so select your snapshot so you can see that uh, this snapshot i think not encrypted see it's not encrypted see are you see this it's not encrypted okay so if you want to encrypt the snapshot so first you have to go to action then you have to create a volume from this snapshot you getting so i'll create a volume so at that time what i can do here i can create a encrypt this volume that's it see actually last month actually i was attending one interview and they were asking about one architecture like e-commerce architecture and they asking how you going to protect your ec2 machine then i told him we can install some agents over the agent in the sense tenable agent falcon agent malware okay like anti malware attacks okay so then finally he told him so you didn't uh, like encrypted your volume okay so that's a very important so we have to encrypt our volume and he ask him one more question suppose you forego to encrypt your ebs volume then after you can do it or not is it possible or not how so we have to create a snapshot first then we have to create a volume from that okay for example let's consider so i have already have a volume over here i'll go to snapshot i'll go to my volume as of now i don't have any volume so i'll create a volume okay i'll create a 10 gp volume see at th- at this time i'm i'm not going to encrypt my volume okay so i'll just create this volume so create a volume successfully created so if i'm clicking over you can see that uh, so this uh, this ebs is not encrypted right so if we go to action so i don't have any option to encrypt okay if you want to encrypt this volume or amazon machine image volume you have to uh, create a snapshot then action you have to create a snapshot then create a volume from the snapshot at that time you have to select encryption okay any doubt no uh then ebs migration between available disk and region and account how we can so let's see. so i'll go to my snapshot <coughs> okay so in this snapshot uh, you'll be have an option over your permission okay and as well as you can you can see one option over here action if you want to copy between two regions you can just click on action so first you have to select your snapshot so then click action where is it copy snapshot okay see the problem is actually it's in archive right you see it is progressing to archive that's what so i'll go with my second volume so click on action then we have an option over here copy snapshot right so click on copy snapshot so then you can uh, copy the snapshot from different region or else if you want to copy the snapshot from one account to another account that also possible how because we had already discussed about this matter how ha ah, where where i should go see here actually i can copy from one region to another particular region right but i cannot copy from one account to another account from uh, this console so where i should go for that see i will select my snapshot first let me select my second snapshot so beneath we have an option what is it permission so we have to select permission under permission we have an option add account id we just need to select add account id so then get account id from second account then you can paste over you add account id then make it private and add account id then paste over account id that's it okay automatically this will be visible in his region particular region for us northern virginia so if you going to mumbai region he cannot see the snapshot he has to go to her northern virginia okay just do it okay quite simple you can just get two account 
then copy one a sorry amazon snapshot from one account to another account is possible okay any doubt no so now we will uh, try to automate how to automate the snapshot backup okay so for that you have to go to uh, snapshot again okay under snapshot you can see that what is it life cycle manager so aws is already providing one method if you want to automate your snapshot for example every one hour every one minute or every 15 minute so we have an option what is it life cycle manager so you can just click on life cycle manager so then you can create a policy over you see so i can create a, sna a snapshot backup or a ama backup or else cross account copy even policy as well okay so here i'm going to select ebs snapshot policy because i want to take backup of what volume. snapshot okay then i will select snapshot then next okay so then you can see that either you can select your volume or else instance, instance. okay so i'm going to select my volume or instance suppose if you have an instance you don't have any volume particular volume then you can select your instance as well no problem so you have to select one tag over you name value you can select whatever the name you have i will select instance store whatever the name you have okay so i'll put a instance store then policy description you can provide my os oss application snapshot okay come down so just select default role uh, you don't need to create any custom role for that okay you can select the default role so come down so if you want you can provide tags as well it's optional if you not giving no problem okay come down policy status enabled so then next okay, it's not available let me create a volume first okay or else i will select a volume name i'll go to my volume so then we will uh, create a uh, tag for that see select your volume so this is my volume right so then go to tags then select it manage tag add a tag so then i will provide backup test so we can provide backup test sir so go to your life cycle policy again refresh the page so select your key see now you can see that backup because i want to take backup of that particular volume that's what okay so i will select backup and value i will select test okay so come down i will select my policy description oss bangalore application we can put like that bangalore so easily we can understand while we looking into the snapshot okay it's a snapshot of my oss application okay so come down then i will select uh, next so what should i do okay. wait wait still so click on add <coughs> then next okay so now you can provide a name schedule one or morning backup i can put morning backup okay so frequency you can select daily or weekly monthly yearly or custom cron expression what is the cron tab ha uh, cron tab what is the cron tab okay so what is okay we have a five values over there right what and all so first every minute then every 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 hour okay then every day then every no every month every week okay what, what is the purpose of cron tab first of all to automate automate we can schedule a task right so at that time automatically it will trigger then it will do the work whatever it is for example if you want to push one log from your server to s3 bucket we can automate the process we don't need to manually do do that instead of that we can automate the process we have been already done that right any doubt no so either i can go with the custom cron expression here you can see that uh, retention period i will select uh, we can select age for example okay i will select count is equal to 3 days okay so 3 days it will keep the snapshot in my account sorry not no 3 days okay so 3 snapshot will keep in my account so rest everything will be uh, deleted recent 3 will be keep in my account recent 3 okay so then i will select my cron tab expression suppose if i want to create every one minute that is not possible in this cron tab you getting every one minute that will not work over you suppose if we want to take every one minute snapshot then you have to go with automation lambda so here you can take only one hour see i can select daily then i will select one hour if you selecting cron tab also it will not work 
okay so this aws cron tab only supporting every 1 hour minimum 1 hour okay if you want to take snapshot every 1 minute then you have to do automation lambda automation okay so that's what every company they are doing lambda like they are taking snapshot through lambda through python automation i'll show you how we can do that over here okay so now i will select it uh, 1 hour so starting time 9 utc you have to select the appropriate time so then review policy then create policy that's it so now successfully i created a policy so when i reach the uh, like 9 o'clock like what are the utc time automatically it will take one snapshot every 1 hour okay any doubt so now we will automate through lambda so let's see how we can uh, create a uh, policy by using lambda so for that we have to open lambda script 